Welcome to this deep dive on the need for DNS in Proxmox. In this video, we'll explore why name resolution is essential for virtualization, how Proxmox uses DNS, and the best practices to ensure your setup runs smoothly and securely. DNS, or the domain name system, is what allows us to use human-friendly names like proxmox.local instead of remembering complex IP addresses. Without DNS, managing and communicating within networks, especially virtualized ones, becomes a frustrating exercise in memorization and manual configuration. In a Proxmox environment, DNS plays a foundational role. Whether you're managing clusters, accessing shared storage, or configuring backup servers, Proxmox depends on name resolution for seamless communication. Hosts, virtual machines, and containers all need accurate DNS to function reliably. If DNS isn't set up properly in Proxmox, you're likely to run into connection timeouts, failed updates, or misconfigured services. DNS ensures that services discover each other easily and communicate reliably, making your infrastructure more resilient and less error-prone. There are several types of DNS servers to choose from. You might run your own local DNS server like Bind9 or DNS Mask for full control. Alternatively, you could rely on cloud providers such as Cloudflare or Google DNS. It's important to understand the difference between recursive and authoritative DNS servers when making your choice. To set up your own DNS server, start by choosing a tool like Bind9 or Unbound. You'll define your zones and host records, ensuring every VM and Proxmox node has a resolvable name. Then update your Proxmox node's DNS settings, usually in slash etc slash resolve.conf or via the GUI for proper resolution. Once your DNS server is running, integrate it with Proxmox. Set your DNS server in the Proxmox GUI under data center go to cluster, then look for DNS DNS. Use fully qualified domain names when configuring VMs and services. Always test resolution using tools like ping and dig to confirm it's working correctly. In environments where IP addresses change frequently, like with DHCP, Dynamic DNS, or DDNS, can be a lifesaver. Tools like DDKeyLiant or Cloud Provider APIs can automatically update DNS records, keeping host names consistent without manual intervention. DNS can be a security weak point. Implement DNSSEC to guard against spoofing and man-in-the-middle attacks. Avoid running open resolvers that anyone can query. Always restrict access to your internal DNS servers to known IPs or interfaces. Just like any critical service, DNS performance should be monitored. Tools like DNSTOP, Bind9 Statistics, or monitoring platforms like Zabbix can help you keep an eye on query volume, resolution times, and failures. Early detection prevents outages and ensures reliable service. A well-configured DNS setup leads to better network stability, fewer misconfigurations, and easier orchestration of services. Everything from VM provisioning to cluster synchronization becomes smoother when names resolve correctly every time. DNS also enhances security. When your DNS infrastructure is secure, you reduce the risk of attacks like spoofing or phishing. You can trust that when a node tries to reach another by name, it's reaching the correct machine, not an imposter. Managing your environment by names instead of IP addresses is just simpler. It reduces errors, improves readability in scripts, and allows Proxmox tools and human administrators to work more efficiently. To wrap up, DNS is more than a convenience. It's a necessity in any Proxmox deployment. From network reliability to security and automation, DNS supports the very foundation of your infrastructure. Explore advanced configurations like zone transfers, conditional forwarding, and DNS views to take control of your environment. And don't forget, drop a comment below if you've run into DNS challenges or want to share your Proxmox story.